It feels like Samsung is about to pull off one of its boldest software moves yet. One UI 8.5 isn't just another update, it's a complete rethinking of how Galaxy software evolves. The company that used to follow the same point one pattern for years is suddenly breaking tradition. This isn't a One UI 8.1 or 8.1 release. Nope, Samsung's jumping straight to One UI 8.5, built entirely on Android 16, and that shift alone is setting off a wave of excitement across the Galaxy world. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sam here. If you love staying ahead of the tech curve, make sure to hit like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives just like this. Now back to this wild story. The earliest sign of One UI 8.5 appeared quietly in late July when testers spotted early firmware running on the Galaxy S26 Ultra. At first, nobody believed it. A 0.5 update skipping all the traditional naming. But that leak quickly gained credibility, confirming that Samsung's next major software version would deboot with the upcoming Galaxy S26 line up, specifically the S26 Pro S26 Edge and the mighty S26 Ultra. Even though Samsung hasn't officially confirmed anything yet, everything, from insider leaks to firmware clues, points to a January 2026 launch window, perfectly timed with its next flagship drop. But the real story is just how massive this rollout could be. Samsung's not keeping One UI 8.5 exclusive to its latest phones. According to early builds and leaked testing data, nearly every major Galaxy from the S22 onwards is expected to join the party, that includes the S25, S24, S23, and even the fan favorite S21 FE. And it doesn't stop there. Foldable lovers, get ready. The Z Fold 7 Flip 7 and even the rumored Flip 7 Fan Edition are tipped to receive the update alongside older foldables like the Z Fold 6, Flip 6, Fold 5, Flip 5, and yes, even the Fold 4 and Flip 4 still appear on the eligibility list. Samsung is even stretching One UI 8.5 to tablets and mid-rangers. The Tab S11 series, Tab S10 Linup, and even the Tabs 9 models are expected to be updated along with mid-range favorites like the Galaxy A56, A55, and A35. That's a massive reach for what's technically a mid-cycle update. It's rare, and that's exactly what's making this rollout feel like something bigger than the usual refresh. Now here's where things start to get exciting. One UI 8.5 is loaded with design and performance upgrades that Galaxy users have been begging for. Leaked builds show a fully reworked quick settings panel that's no longer static. You'll be able to freely move, resize, and remove toggles just the way you want, almost like arranging widgets on your home screen. And it works beautifully in both vertical and horizontal modes, giving users full control over how their control center looks and behaves. Customization is clearly Samsung's new obsession. On the lock screen, there are at least three new clock styles in development, each with more dynamic animations and alignment options. It's small details like these that make your phone feel fresh again. And early testers have noticed that animations across the board feel smoother, more fluid, and way more responsive than before. Whether it's launching apps, pulling down the quick panel, or switching between widgets, everything just feels snappier. But this update isn't just about visual polish. Samsung is making some practical tweaks that actually make a difference in daily use. One of the most requested features, the predictive back gesture, is finally expected to be enabled by default. Instead of swiping blindly, you'll now see exactly where that gesture is going to take you. It's one of those small yet brilliant quality of life upgrades that you'll instantly appreciate the first time you use it. And that's just the start. Samsung's redesigned several system apps to make them cleaner, easier to use, and visually more cohesive. The Gallery app, for example, has a fresh layout with larger buttons, rounded corners, and album previews showing your latest photo or video instead of boring text headers. It's subtle, but it gives the app a premium vibe, almost iOS, like, but still unmistakably Samsung. The Weather app now has its search bar at the bottom, making it easier to reach with one hand, while the settings app and digital well-being dashboard have been refreshed with smoother transitions and bolder icons. Even the phone app has been redesigned with a sleeker, icon-only navigation bar stretching across the screen. It's these small touches that make One UI 8.5 feel thoughtfully modern, not just visually updated. But the real showstopper might be Samsung's deeper AI integration. Inside the leaked builds, testers discovered a brand new AI, powered notification summary feature. This clever addition automatically condenses long, cluttered notifications into short, easy to read summaries. Think of it like a personal assistant quietly cleaning up your notification panel. Once the feature is turned on, a small pop-up appears explaining how it works, 
Though it's not functional yet in leaked builds, its presence alone confirms Samsung's next big AI step. And yes, this feature will run through Google Cloud, similar to Galaxy AI tools, which means it'll need an internet connection, but should deliver lightning fast results once it goes live. Users will also have full control to choose which apps get summarized and which ones stay untouched. Ideal for those who don't want their messages or social notifications filtered by AI. Even smaller tools like the screen recorder are getting attention. The new interface includes visual icons showing each recording option, larger touch targets, and clearer labels. Samsung clearly wants every part of One UI to feel simple, refined, and smart. The overall result, a Galaxy experience that looks cleaner, works faster, and feels more intelligent than anything before it. The timing of this update couldn't be more interesting either. Samsung's betting big on the S26 Linup and launching One UI 8.5 alongside it shows just how confident the company is in this software. Instead of saving Android 16 features for a later One UI 9.0 release, Samsung's rolling them out early. And that's a bold move that completely shakes up its software playbook. Right now, leaks suggest development is accelerating fast, with internal testing spreading to multiple Galaxy devices simultaneously. That could mean One UI 8.5 might reach users sooner than expected. The big question now is, will this update set a new standard for Samsung's mid-cycle rollouts? If the leaks hold true, we're not just looking at another routine update, we're witnessing the beginning of a whole new rhythm for how Galaxy software evolves. And honestly, if this is how One UI 8.5 already looks and feels in early builds, the final version could be one of the most polished, fluid, and intelligent Galaxy experiences yet. Stay tuned, because the next few weeks are going to reveal a lot more about Samsung's most daring software upgrade in years.